Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Uh, it's about uh, 11.53 a.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. Latest quake uh, looks like a well, 3.2 coming into the New Zealand area. Uh, this comes after a 4.2 earthquake. Uh, down around the South Island, New Zealand area earlier. Uh, actually, this looks like it came in late afternoon time frame yesterday. 4.2 near the uh, Greymouth, New Zealand area, right on the plate boundary. Looks like about 16 kilometers deep or so. Uh, looking at the GeoNet servers here, shows some of that earthquake activity, including the 4.4 uh, in the South Island area yesterday. Uh, since then, it looks like we've seen a couple smaller earthquakes across the area. A uh, quick glance here at the earthquake drums across New Zealand uh, does show, well, there's some of that activity yesterday, it looks like. It looks like we maybe had um, about three or so earthquakes around the time frame of that 4.4 from yesterday. That's going to be the signatures up here. As uh, far as recent activity goes, that's... Uh, Looks like that's about it there for the uh, New Zealand area. Uh, either way, definitely a little bit of uptick in movement there across New Zealand. As um, it shows there on the map. There's that 4.4. Looks like uh, 4.6 as well. So those are going to be the two prominent quakes along with a, uh, a much smaller quake. Following that uh, activity yesterday. All right, let's see what else we have here across the area. Uh, still looks fairly quiet across the Western Pacific far as the USGS map goes. Looking at the Earthquake 3D globe though, shows uh, still some smaller quakes around the New Guinea area and also the, uh, looks like the southern end here of the Java Trench with a couple fours trying to make their way up around the plate boundary. Did have a 4.7 into the China area. Uh, but today, most mostly uh, centered around New Guinea and south of the Philippines, way up north here into the Kuril Kamachaka Trench. Looks like we did have a 4.5, uh, although that definitely not showing up here on the USGS map. It is on the EMSC model. Let's see what else we got here for the region. West Coast activity. Getting a little bit of activity across the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment. As we zoom in here, looks like a little earthquake activity. Largest, a 3.2. It looks like that's just off of the uh, plate boundary here, the creeping zone. A little bit further up north, as uh, far as the Lake Almanor region goes, uh, looks like most of this activity died off from yesterday. Nothing to report here today so far. Uh, one earthquake near Ferndale. We've kind of seen that lately. A little bit of uh, uptick here along the Cascadia Megathrust area. That's uh, the southern end. We have been noticing a little bit of tremor activity here uh, in this region specifically. Uh, that could be contributing to a little bit of stress buildup uh, here just to the west along that region of the Cascadia. Uh, we'll check out the tremor map tonight, but. Uh, Looking at the last seven days of activity here does show, uh, you know, what kind of looks like a little bit of uptick across this area. But that is all due to the uh, trimmer amount uh, that we've seen here over the past couple days, mostly centered here uh, around the southern end of the Cascadia. Up north, Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot going on. Yellowstone National Park as well. Um, let me see what we got for the Yellowstone area. Nothing really showing up at all across this uh, area. Maybe a couple smaller microquakes around the northwest corner of the park. But aside from, uh, aside from that, things fairly mellow. Further down south into Southern California, Ridgecrest area, seeing a little bit of uh, microquake movement. And around Los Angeles as well, a couple smaller quakes uh, across the region. Nothing major popping up aside from that 3.2 uh, near the Pinnacles earlier this morning uh, no major swarm kicking off here around El Centro in fact most of this activity from 
yesterday. We did see one more earthquake uh, this morning. It looks like 1.8, a little bit further down south. All right, uh, around Oklahoma, still looks fairly active. This area has been seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity across the region uh, over the last few days or so. The latest of 1.3. Uh, just outside of the OKC area. Eastern portion of the country, very quiet. Um, the Puerto Rico Trench, fairly quiet up here. Most of the movement here around the southwestern edge of the Puerto Rico area. Did have a 4.0 though off the coast of the Baja California region. Let's see if the USGS is reporting that. Doesn't look like it, uh, but it looks like we're seeing a little bit of activity. Uh, ramping up here in this region of the uh, the plate boundary there between the North American and the Pacific Plate. Uh, South America region, uh, looks like some fours and some threes across the area. Nothing major going on today. And the Atlantic Ocean had that one earthquake yesterday or late last night, 4.7 there into the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. That earthquake is showing up on the USGS map there from late afternoon yesterday. Rest of the world, uh, fairly quiet over here around the Middle East. Uh, let's see what we got. A little bit of aftershock movement across Turkey, including it looks like a, a uh, 2.5 hiding in there. One of the most recent quakes on the globe around the Turkey area. A little bit of movement outside uh, of the South Africa area as well with a couple threes. Let's see here. What else we got? Just kind of a little quiet today I mean it's not entirely quiet but uh, not seeing any major elevated activity currently but again uh, you know those those are the times to be prepared because a lot of times we'll we'll uh, it'll be quiet and then all of a sudden it will just pop off so we'll continue to watch that a little bit of movement here around the Petrolia area in Northern California a little spike of an earthquake Southern California down there looks a little rough as well looks like some uh, Microquake movement happening down there around the uh, uh, just off the Elsinore fault system there in Southern Cal. All right, let's see what we got for the space weather activity. I know we're getting a uh, fairly large region uh, on the eastern limb of the sun, southeastern limb of the sun. Let me check out the most recent imagery here. This was uh, this is pretty recent. Looks like 1845 UTC time. This area, and it looks like maybe a region up north here on the northeastern limb of the sun, is very active. Down here um, on the southeastern limb is the one that produced an almost X flare um, yesterday. Notice that peaking out here almost at the X flare category. It was, of course, directed away from Earth, but uh, we're starting to get that stair stepping ladder of popcorn activity uh, basically flaring uh, like crazy from those uh, two sunspots which really haven't even turned uh, towards the earth view yet and they are very active so we'll continue to watch this uh, here in the coming days as these two regional sunspots come around the bend that looks very very active uh, we don't really have a glance yet of any of the uh, structure maybe a little bit here with this image I uh, can see a little bit of a uh, complex structure in that sunspot. Uh, this one up here that's flaring right now, can't really see any of it. Uh, but again, we'll continue to watch that in the uh, days ahead. So these, uh, this sunspot should be named here really soon. Uh, will be one of the newest named sunspots on the uh, visible disk. Uh, looks like 95% chance of a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare. Uh, still what some somewhat elevated around five percent chance uh, nothing major going on for the auroras currently but again with these new uh, sunspot regions turning into view i think we'll watch that uh, pretty closely hopefully we'll get uh, some earth directed cmes uh, that may kick up the auroras in the uh, in the week ahead gotta wait though a couple days for that to come around the bend <clears throat> all right let's see what we got here for weather activity today not a whole lot, uh, just general thunderstorm activity across a portion, um, a large portion of the country, uh, up through uh, Colorado, Wyoming, even stretching up into North Dakota, getting some thunderstorms up there. It looks like no major severe weather threat today or tomorrow. 
uh, a slight risk on uh, Friday, it looks like, with a, um, yeah, covers a good portion of Texas, Oklahoma, and, and Arkansas area with a uh, potential threat. I don't think we're going to see anything major going on, but uh, mostly some large hail, I believe, and uh, locally damaging winds uh, appear to be the primary risk with this potentially likely to continue through uh, the evening and into the overnight hours. All right, so we'll check back on that as we get closer to the Friday uh, time period. Uh, but for now, hope everyone has a good day. It's supposed to be uh, very close to 100 again today out here in California. It's just it's typical. Um, I think our average high is supposed to be around 82 or 83 degrees, but we're up into the uh, mid-90s, upper 90s actually today and throughout the uh, remainder of the week. But that's normal. I, I knew that. <laughs> it's coming up. We've got 100 and probably 115 degree days coming up here uh, as we head into June and July. It just it gets hot out here where I live. So not looking forward to, but at least I got to pull up and uh, probably spend the majority of the day out in the pool again uh, to stay cool. All right, folks, have a good one. Um, we'll catch you guys back here, I guess, a little bit later tonight. Really not a whole lot going on as far as earthquake activity currently, but uh, again, we'll definitely watch it and uh, report back if anything major happens. Have a good day and stay safe out there.